kind of promised myself that, you know, with the set, with the with coming to these shows um, and playing for you guys, that part of the 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 purpose. I'd say there's two purposes for post traumatic and this and this tour. One is, of course, to um, to bring this new music to you guys and, and open up my my diary, open up my this autobiographical moment, very personal stuff, and share it with you because I love the record. The record is a, it helped me get through. It didn't just help me. Uh, let me tell you this: it didn't just help me get through this year, but it also was. It was a chance to put it all down so that if anybody else has to walk this path, that they can listen to it and know that somebody else was there. Okay? So that was one. That's one. And the other thing is, I wanted to come out and um, in person, just me standing in front of you guys, say thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you. And especially thank you for your support this this year. It really helped me get through the year. And I think um, yeah, you guys will never know. It's it really helped. It helped a lot. Um, with that said, there's a part there's a part of this uh, this moment in the show where, of course, I want to. Well, the most important part is, is to make some noise for Chester. You know, it's more than just not wanting to repeat myself. I, I challenge myself to really share something with you guys, something that I've been thinking about or something that happened that day or something that this city reminds me of. But, but for some reason, the thing that pops into my head today is that I know that when I talk about, when I say Chester and you guys cheer, I know that, that you guys, I know your relationship with Lincoln Park and I know your relationship with him. I want to say this though, that when I was growing up, I remember looking in the paper and looking at magazines when certain other um, people that, that someone admired uh, passed away. Um, the first one that comes to mind is Kurt Cobain. And I want you guys to know that there was a part of me that was concerned, even when I was that age, I was concerned that somebody would think that the reason you guys are cheering, the reason that people pay attention is, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is, for real, this is important. The reason I was, I was concerned that for some people they were, they thought that people were cheering because the person passed away, because they passed away. No, that's fucked up. Don't you ever, ever, ever think that that's the reason. Some people say that an artist, whoever, Michelangelo, Basquiat, Keith Haring, whoever, that their art is more valuable when they die. That is fucked up. Here's the reason it's fucked up. It's not fucked up for me. It's fucked up for some of you guys. I don't want you to ever think that things are more valuable when you are gone. It's much more valuable while you are here.
you too. Are you ready to sing? On this one, just like we always do, I want you guys to sing Chester's part. We're gonna channel it tonight, front to back, side to side. You ready? Eventually be a memory of a time when I tried so hard. 